Presenting the Feltz Wealth Plan, World Herald All Nebraska Football Team for 2022. I'm Stu Pospisil. Uh, we will unveil our selections. Uh, lots of coaches across the state contributed nominations this year, and in conjunction with our staff observations, we have a 24 man team that uh, I think is pretty dang good. Um, we'll start with the offense first of all. Uh, wide receiver, Isaiah McMorris from Bellevue West. Thousand yard receiver uh, this year for the Thunderbirds, a junior. He's going to be getting a lot of uh, big time offers in the coming year. With him, Jalen Lloyd from uh, Omaha West Side. Uh, Jalen was bound for a thousand yards as well until uh, coming up hurt in the semifinals of uh, West Side's championship season. Uh, he's going to be able to choose between track and football offers. Our offensive line. Uh, Really solid group. Uh, we'll start with Sam Sledge of Omaha Creighton Prep, uh, Nebraska Pledge. Um, Mason Goldman of Gretna uh, has a Nebraska offer. Gunnar Gatula from Lincoln Southeast, another Husker Pledge. Uh, Caleb Pifrom from Omaha Central, a junior uh, that uh, has gained Power 5 offers. And from uh, Class B state runner-up, uh, Omaha Gross, Sal Naccarelli. Uh, Sal was the leader of uh, perhaps Class B's best uh, offensive line as the Cougars went 12-1 and this year. Our quarterback, probably no surprise, Zane Flores from Gretna. Uh, Zane set um, numerous Class A passing records and state passing records. He's bound for Oklahoma State. Our running back trio. Marty Brown from Omaha Creighton Prep, Tishon Porter from Omaha North, and Cole Ballard from Elkhorn South. Uh, three solid, very productive running backs. Uh, Cole Ballard uh, led uh, Class A in scoring. Um, he suffered a serious foot injury during uh, his last game against Prep in the uh, playoffs and looks like he's going to miss basketball season. So that's, uh, that's too bad for Cole, but uh, he was able to hobble his way onto uh, the picture for our Feltz Wealth Plan team. And the kicker, uh, Mr. Consistency, uh, five field goals, uh, tying and breaking numerous records in the state final, Tristan Alvano from Omaha Westside. Uh, the 16 field goals are the most uh, ever in one season by a kicker in the state, and uh, he is starting to get Power 5 offers, including one from Nebraska. On the Feltz Wealth Plan defensive unit, we start with the defensive lineman, Maverick Noonan of Elkhorn South. He's to a uh, Husker Pledge. Corver Demma from Gretna. Uh, he's walking on at Nebraska. Uh, Lance Rucker from Millard South, very powerful. Uh, Tackler, uh, very, very aggressive. Uh, he's going to be going someplace really good. Um, from Class B, Victor Isley from Grand Island Northwest. Uh, saw him a couple times. He's going to North Dakota State. Uh, I think they're getting a good one in him. Our linebacking trio, Kurt Krubrich from Omaha Westside, uh, was the leader of the Warriors defense that uh, held on against Gretna, winning that game 43-41. Uh, you have Jace Chrisman from Grand Island, who really uh, showed out the um, last half of the season. Uh, he caught notice in the uh, uh, Islanders' win against Omaha North um, late in the regular season. And Ben Bramer from Pierce, um, who could have been several positions, including tight end. Uh, he was a uh, linebacker on this team just recently this week, announced he was flipping his pledge from Nebraska to Iowa State. Uh, said he, he liked the friendships and the staff, among other things. So, uh, best wishes to Ben. Our defensive backs, Caleb Banning of Omaha Westside. Hurt for part of the season, actually a good majority of the season, but uh, the coaches uh, did not penalize him for that. Uh, he came up big in the state final with 14 catches against Gretna. A lot of them possession catches for first downs, and he came up with two big uh, interceptions in the first half of floors that uh, helped Westside to a 31 14 uh, lead early in the second quarter before Gretna made its comeback. We also have Colton Marsh from Grand Island. He had three picks against Omaha North 
and was a uh, leader of the Islander Secondary. Colton Tilford from North Platte, uh, he's back-to-back uh, -back, uh, selections from North Platte following Vince Genitone, uh, who's up at Montana now, our last year's World Herald Athlete of the Year. Our last defensive back, Brock Murtaugh from Millard South. He's one if, of, if not the first, three generation or third generation uh, selection to the All-Nebraska team. Grandfather is uh, Jerry Murtaugh. His dad is Ryan Murtaugh, now the Omaha Bryan Athletic Director. And Brock is, uh, along the same lines, very good defenders as his dad and grandfather. Our athlete and punter, which rounds out the team, is uh, Danny Kalin from Bellevue West, a junior. Uh, he uh, punted uh, the majority for the uh, Thunderbirds, as well as being a 3,000 yard passer, and it seemed a uh, good spot to fit him in. So again, recapping our Nebraska team, on offense, Isaiah McMorris from Bellevue West, Jalen Lloyd from Omaha Westside, Sam Sledge from Creighton Prep, Mason Goldman from Gretna, Gunnar Gatula from Lincoln Southeast, Caleb Pifrom from Omaha Central, Sal Naccarelli from Omaha Gross. The backfield consists of Zane Flores from Gretna, Tishon Porter from Omaha North, Marty Brown from Prep, Cole Ballard from Elkhorn South, and Tristan Alvano of Westside the Kicker. The Felt's Wealth Plan defense, defensive lineman Maverick Noonan from Elkhorn South, Corver Dema from Gretna, Lance Rucker from Millard South, and Victor Isley from Grand Island Northwest. Linebackers Kirk Krubrich, Chase Chrisman, and Ben Bramer. And the defensive backs Caleb Benning from Westside, Colton Marsh from Grand Island, Colton Tilford from North Platte, Brock Murtaugh from Millard South, and Danny Kalin from Bellevue West. Um, for more details, go to omaha.com, the Nebraska Prep Zone.